Hello Internet, I'm Hamster Bomb. And I'm Kimothy. And you guys are joining us for a new episode of Hitbox. And uh, before we get into this one, and I know it's a really strange one, um, I want to talk really quick about our sponsor for this video, which is the Coldest Water Bottles. It's actually the last time that I'm going to be talking about these on my channel. This is the last uh, I know. ad I have for and these. And I've stolen it multiple times, and yeah. he claims I just need to get my own. <laughs> so, um, instead of doing like the regular ad roll this time, I just wanted to talk with you guys about this thing so that you know I could have played that, but I wanted to let you know this thing is actually really awesome. So, um, and Kim is right. She's taken this thing from me multiple times because she wants this thing so bad. I was right to joke about how much you would want it in the oh, ad yeah, I made. yeah, you were right. Yeah. And because I want it all the time. See, the funny thing is, is I had just bought a new water bottle right before he had gotten this one. And I'm not as happy with it as I could be, and... Aside from it breaking, I mean, they it, they all leak, you know, they, yeah. uh, they'll condensate all the time. Um, and this thing stays cold, like, I don't think I have ever had an instance of using this thing in, like, the month that I've had this, and I use it all the time, where it has ever actually, like, been warmer or my ice melted. Took it ever. outside in 90 oh, yeah, I was degree weather. Out of the heat for hours, and it was. I took it out gardening the other day, and anyway, it's yeah, wonderful. This thing's awesome, and um, I've got uh, promo codes uh, so that you guys can get um, a discount on your order. Um, links are all down in the description, and uh, the coldest also has um, giveaways that they do weekly. I think if you just enter, um, yeah, I think you just put in an email, and they'll like give you a chance to win one of these things. So they're awesome. I kind of want more. <laughs> I so, do. We, we need so more good. for our house. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate them uh, sponsoring this video. I don't know if they would have known that I would be doing it on such a strange uh, Ring Fit adventure, but hey, it kind of works. Um, episode and you were using it while you were playing Ring Fit. That's I for sure. <laughs> I definitely was, and I I certainly will keep doing that. Um, this thing is really, really, really awesome. So try and grab yourself one of these things. Um, promo code is hamster. Got all the links for that stuff down in the description. But anyway. Ring Fit Adventure is probably not a game you would think that I would make. A not only the one, episode? I made one video on this already and that people thought that came out of left field. I made a, it was a very early playing of myself. I you. know, but like, it was such a fun game. Like the fourth one, I had game. to talk about the game. Um, but so since obviously playing the game a lot longer after the review, um, and I knew this kind of at the time, I never mentioned it in the review, there's too much to say. How do we even talk about this? <laughs> Ring Fit is naughty. <laughs> um, so, um, throughout playing the game, uh, in the game, it has these brilliant ways of incentivizing the player to keep working farther. Like, I felt exhausted this morning, and I still booted the game up, and I said, okay, I'm just gonna play for a little bit. And, um, I waited like twice as long as I wanted to, even though I'm exhausted. Because you've got to keep playing. You got to get that level yeah, you, up. You, you got to beat the next level. You got to get yeah, your you, title. You, you want to get to this level. Because you see this thing right next to it, and you're like, oh, I want to get that. And it's not going right. to take long. And then you got that, and you're like, oh, but no, I want to get that other thing. And you're like, oh, but I can finish the map if I just do this. And even just like yesterday when I was playing it, I was like, I'm only going to do 15 minutes. And like the 11 mark minute hit, and I was just like. You mean like in game time? Not in game. Like, well, right. In Okay, so in, the game yeah, measures it times your, your movement, your times active your mo movement. Active movement time. Right. So it hit 11 minutes, and I finished one course, and I was like, okay, I'm so close to the 15-minute mark. Okay, I'll just do another course just to make sure I hit that 15 minutes, and I ended up going way over what I even originally planned to do. So <laughs> Yeah, I, I did the same, and then I, I was like, well, God, I'm already way over, but the only thing left on this stage is the Drago boss level. I should just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, no, so what I was going to say, uh, what aside from all of that... What it does really good is it like incentivizes you to do different workouts or like play different mini games and do them perfectly because based on how well you do them, it will award you with titles. And titles are things that I didn't even mention in my review. No. And um, they're <laughs> so they're so great. I need to talk about what they <laughs> what they are at first. So say you're playing like um on a, like a, a parachuting mini game, right? Where you gotta like pull the ring con over your head and you're you're riding around a parachute. Um, say you get like um, a, an average score, it'll give, or like a decent score, it'll give you a title. And um, I don't remember those off the top of my head what the parachute yeah. ones are, but just for an example. So you get a title, and you can use that title when you go into your menu. And <laughs> this is another thing that makes it so bad. You can take this title and basically... Uh, Attach it to your avatar, kind of? You, yeah, you don't really have an avatar, but whatever your username is, you can kind of put that before it. And other users who like share right. data can see yours. So I might log in and I'll see his title and I'll get a good chuckle before I turn my game right, on. Right, because of course I'm only <laughs> choosing the 
ones that sound dirty. The dirty ones. <laughs> and they, which is a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> we went through all of them. At first, here, at first, this was just going to be a simple top 10 video. But there's so many we wanted to talk about. It was hard to whittle this down to 20, which is what we're going <laughs> to talk about today. And then even still, we're not 100% done I with the game. There's like so many more. It's intentional. <laughs> it's, it's, you Okay, you guys be the judge of that. Is this intentional or not when we're done reading all these? Because I, I feel like they had to be doing this on purpose. <laughs> they get this. It's but not also, like the rest when you of the look at is. it, you're like, what else would the titles be when you look? I. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> I mean, we'll describe how you get the titles if we can remember when we go through here. Because right, some okay. of them, you'll probably like raise an eyebrow like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and Alex has completely forgotten this list, and I will be reading that. Yes! To him. <laughs> Another thing about this, um, we prepared this about a year ago, and we've been trying to make this video for about a year. We actually, Kim wrote this list and had it in well, my no, room. we wrote it, okay, so it was right, it was around um, uh, May. May is when we, oh, yeah, that so was like been a over year. A year. <laughs> I was like, that's not a year, and then I looked it's at it. It's been and over like, oh. a year. Oh, yeah. That's so, a year. um, this thing has been in my office around, it's been in Kim's office. Um, it's, we've been trying to figure out, like, oh my god, when are we gonna get a chance to sit down and do this? Well, baby is sleeping downstairs, and we got a chance to record something. So, Kim is finally on the channel. And oh, I am so excited. Since, for like, this. Final Fantasy 7R, and that might actually be the next time you show back up, 7R Part 2. Whenever that ever I comes I don't know. Out. I really want to do some streams with you. There's some fun stuff I oh, really yeah. like to do. Yeah, we have some fun ideas. Um, we have some fun ideas. We'll, we'll see. It's really good. hard to do this, though. Um, but anyway, so, number 20. Let's just get it started. Just number an example. Number 20! Forward Fold Virtuoso. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be a regular thing. Um, a lot of these just straight up sound like sex positions. <laughs> <laughs> This is a title name for a stripper. No, <laughs> so no here, a now here to, to, to get this, just so that you know how this works. Um, there, the way that Ring Fit works, your attacks in the RPG of the game, if you haven't seen my uh, Playing With Myself review, which would, if you haven't, check that out. Also, uh, obviously my whole review series is dirty now that I realize it's like a dirty names, but your I'm not- Your title of it is it's playing, playing With, with myself. myself. You're a very dirty, dirty boy. Working, working out with myself would not have been a good spinoff for that one. But anyway, so um, different attacks that you have are different, either yoga positions, aerobic stuff, uh, you know, work out different parts of the body, your arms, your legs, your core. And so this one is using, I think, I think, it's, I think it's just like ab a, an ab workout, forward, a forward fold, right? Forward down. So, you can see what they were doing. They were just calling it forward fold blank and like virtuoso. You're good at it, but of course it just <laughs> it sounds super dirty. <laughs> it sounds super dirty. So like this particular workout's just like an ab workout too. It's not like uh, yeah, yeah. It's not like a yoga one because they have different types of the workouts. Right. But and the the nicknames we got on here, uh, which is is kind of how you would call the titles. It's like you know, a forward fold virtuoso. Uh, or you like get it hamster, for, the forward fold virtuoso, or something right, like that. Right. So is how you, you get you would it use for this. how many times you've done this. So this one might right, be. Right. You might have been like a thousand. Done or, a thousand of these. And you the get game this like rewards title. you. Uh, which, by the way, um, this is a stupid little thing. And just to talk about Ring Fit, because we didn't talk about uh, titles in my review. This is the dumbest thing that I obsess over in the game. Because I say, I, I get like, um, cause I can see how many of a Your certain Your leg move... day is like every day for like- Well, no, I, I, I group <laughs> things out. I've always got a, a pa like, there's enough moves that I always have a gamut of different types of things and I don't burn myself out. But um, say I did everything for like, um, I don't know, uh, name uh, the forward fold, right? I did, I did all of those. Um, and I got all the rewards and I got all the titles. I will open up the titles, find one that I'm missing for, swap it out for that one so I can keep working towards that. So I can, like, because you can, you could beat the main campaign, you can 100% every level, but then you have all the titles you can get. So if you wanted to keep playing the game forever, because I mentioned that in a review, this game never stops! <laughs> you you right. have these titles forever! So I really like them for that. And, that's and of course like, I get a chuckle out of them because how dirty they are. That's a total gamer way to look at it because I, I look at it and like the game sets up like there's like presets like do you want to work on your abs today do you want to work on your arms today and it'll give you a preset uh different types of attacks yeah you do it like an to exercise work on that certain area i, of your I body do it because uh that's he a video game because he's a video gamer. i, I can't I mean, it's a psychological thing and it, it works on me number 19 number nine sorry impossibly wide squatter <laughs> 
I just like saying these. These are fun. <laughs> why would you write that? Like, why would you say it like that? Impossibly okay, so wide squatter. That's probably from for doing. That can't be from doing regular wide squats because I'm actually still doing that now in my game. Like it's one of the moves I have in my rotation. My legs still hurt from doing it this morning. No, it um, probably is because I think we looked through a full list online. But then what's the higher level? That means there's one better no, than impossible. No, impossibly is the highest. That's what I'm saying. We looked it up, oh, we and did. that was the highest. Oh, I didn't know you did that. See, it's been a year. Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> Um, God, I can't wait till I can become an impossibly wide squatter. I think oh. my I think my current title is on this list, by the way, and we have not gotten to it. Um, <laughs> so, oh my God, that. <laughs> Do we even need to talk about what these things can imply? I, can... <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about the moves and what they're actually talking about. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to keep this as PG as possible, but oh my God. <laughs> Well, the title for this is Hitbox. I don't think I don't think anybody wants to be um, known as the impossibly wide squatter. <laughs> I mean. Unless, unless like you are at like that FF Seven dojo place where they're like <laughs> all the like you're super just... bulky uh, gay men who are like, hey honey, and that's just... totally still dirty. It doesn't matter. Right. Did, they, did they take out the the flamboyant guys in the remake? Because they were super. No. Did they not? No. I don't remember. Jules I remember. Is the person you're going? What are you talking Weirdly, about? Weirdly, I remember the original over the remake for that, but because you spend more time in there too in the remake. Um, uh, sorry. Anyway, number eighteen. Number eighteen. Muddy hands. <laughs> just does that even sound like a title? It's just muddy hands. And you know what? You get this title for like it's next to impossible. No, what you it's have to do. not. It's so awful. It's Kim so is awful. really bad at this mini game. It's, it's called Squattery Wheel, which <laughs> is also very dirty, dirty. Dirty. Yeah. So it's a pottery wheel mini game where. Um, you basically are constantly like kind of pressing in on this large tube of clay and you need to sculpt out the pottery image that they have shown to the left of you and you need to like sculpt the thing out to like sh recreate it in the time you have right so the better you do with that and you have to squat in you order to, to move it up and down and that's what's pull it push, in. push and pull or push whatever push and pull but you know getting the accuracy it's really hard. <laughs> it looks super easy when you like you, you see like the, the Mario Party esque. Here's how to play the mini game, right. and then you do it, and it's like, oh my god. <laughs> but it's not like physically draining. It's just it's just tough to get it right. And I don't know if right. like these first few titles aren't as like sexually dirty as in like. I don't know. Impossibly I, wide squatter also can mean like you poop really wide squatted. I don't know. I, I don't know. I only <laughs> those first two. I only think of sex positions, and that's not okay. <laughs> Muddy hands. Seems like there's so many bad things. There's something that happened with your hands to make them <laughs> that color. And it, it only in the context of knowing that they were making dirty titles made me think like, is someone like sticking their hand up? Somehow? I know, it's so bad. It's, like, so it's bad. just disgusting. Moving on Let's to uh, number 17. Yeah. Keep in mind, this list will get dirtier as we yes. go. We Kim are tried always... to write these and order them and rank them based on how bad they are, so they'll only get better. Stretched to the limit. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> I can see what they were going for. See, that's the thing with these. I can see what they were going for. Like, if this were all, like, translated from Japanese, and there's, like, there's no... Um, I could see the Japanese really being into that, actually. Localization is just direct translation kind of thing. Yeah, I was thinking, like, it could be a bad translation, but I could see Japan being all in on the dirty names. <laughs> <laughs> like, stretch to the limit, <laughs> raises eyebrows. Oh. Like, oh my god. It's... And I think this is for doing just yoga poses in general. Like, you used a yoga attack this many times. Oh, yeah, yeah. There were some of them that were general. Like, you needed to do, um, like... 500 or like some smaller number of all of the yoga moves and it, it added up together yeah, and, and then you got up. this one um, That's my guess. Now too. our next one is it. I don't know I don't feel like it's as dirty, but it's just kind of a play on words. Okay, so number 16 the gift of ab <laughs> I know, It's just <laughs> silly <laughs> It's still kind of bad <laughs> Just, okay, we need to talk about this character. I don't think I talked about him in the review. <laughs> you didn't He's talk so, about Abdonis. Abdonis is so great. So there's this dude. He's fantastic. This, <laughs> how do you describe this guy? He's like, okay, you, you're trying to tell me that they weren't being sexual at all in the game. And Abdonis <laughs> is real. This man is real. He's, He's like, like 
rubs his abs. He's so, okay. So first, you gotta describe what he's wearing. Okay. Okay. He's got like kind of like cut off yoga pants, I think, and then like his top is. It's like, just like a jacket. A, an open jacket. That it's is, just sleeves. Yes, it's, it's just sleeves. There's barely sleeves. It's almost nothing. So pretty much you just see like well, his. Well, no, he has like the black sleeves that go down here. Oh yeah, he's got like, yeah, a yellow right, sleeves there's, over that. Yeah, I'm kind of so. forgetting what it looks like, but so. basically his his whole chest is out and open, and of course he's Abadonis. He's the guy who trains his abs to the limit, right? But so, he's also totally narcissistic. Yes, in and he's because he's. he's Abdonis. Right, and he's like just dripping with sweat all over him, and it's like glistening and shining. I remember Alex a gif at one point of this guy just rubbing his ass. Yes, because we were talking about his... that gif is even inappropriate. It's, it's so sexualized. Abdonis it's like is just so. Oh, I mean, you think God. about the the Greek story about. Adonis anyway, and now you're applying it to this, this guy. But my favorite it's... thing about this guy is like oh. how he will attack. So what's it's already oh funny gosh, about I certain characters how these characters either. attack already. So like you got Allegra who will attack by like stomping on the ground and like stamping in something with her foot, right? And, and doing different Armando, leg moves. Armando. Armando does... flexes his arms. Abdonis oh my gosh. will basically <laughs> almost do like pelvic thrusts, like he really does, wiggling, he really does. belly dancing, in his abs in the air. And the thing is, his facial expression as he does this is like, oh, he just, <laughs> he's like all in. He loves it. It's this. totally sexual. It's like, you're I mean, trying to do this like workout stuff, like you know, either blocking attacks or like you know, uh, deflecting something. Just, like, and he's doing this the whole time, and you're trying not to laugh because it's so bad. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, w I when mean, you, you say, didn't that's talk probably about the why... sexiest character in the game, which is Drago. Which is... Anyway, <laughs> but, uh, but because of Abdonis, what was the Ab thing? The Ab one we're at right now. The gift of Ab. The gift of Ab. See, uh, the reason I find that so sexualized and funny is because of Abdonis, <laughs> and because of like those gifs that you kept sending about abs. <laughs> we need to move on. <laughs> Number fifteen. Yeah. Oh, this one's really dirty. This one's good. <laughs> okay. Open and close leg steel trap. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a really long-winded insult. Open that you would... and close Open... legs steel trap. <laughs> so this is this is just leg scissors. The this the, uh, is leg scissors. Yeah, yeah. just the, a really weird way to call another sex position. Oh my god. No, so... I think this is more like. How do you even get that? This is like approaching like a virgin, you know. This is like, oh, like, like a chastity <laughs> belt. <laughs> like, like, once once you go in, there's no coming out. <laughs> Trap. Forever. You're trapped. What, 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 what is, is that one? Oh, is that one the one where you gotta like press your legs together with the ring kind of between? Yeah, I forget I, the name of that move, but oh no, not the knees. This is the one where you have your legs up, I think, and you're doing oh, this, may, or you're doing may, like this. That's like leg, leg scissors. scissors. Leg scissors is a different one, and I think that also shows up later. This, on this is list. on this list too. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, you're right. So this. Maybe it, this is the one where you're just bending yeah, your yeah, knees. Yeah, maybe just pushing and, your knees together. I don't know, but see, super, super simple, not a sexual. Um, no, like how exercise. you get them. You, you, the thing is, like that's what's so funny about these. You're doing a completely innocent exercise, and then you will get the title and be like, "Oh my God, I see where you were going, but <laughs> that's not what you said." <laughs> and they're all like this. Number fourteen. Yeah. Well-oiled hinge poser. <laughs> I mean, you're well oiled with anything, and it's gonna be it's funny. Gonna be, with yeah, the it's fact that it's a hinge pose on top of all of this. <laughs> Which a hinge pose, once again, totally not sexual. I guess it could be. Yeah, it's like the that most submissive thing. Be... Of course it is. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, God. The, uh, the best part about these so far, we're not even into the top 10, which would have been the video that you would have gotten. So this is all bonus. So now you get, because we were going to make like the 20. <laughs> yeah, and we kept playing further and getting more. Be, like, um, like memorable. Oh, honorable mentions. Honorable yeah, mentions, yeah. yeah. Number 13. Mm -hmm. All press is good press. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one of these, I completely forget. So I'll press you long time. <laughs> I feel like I need to change my title in Rain Fit right now to All Press is Good Press. <laughs> if you even have it, like I said, those oh, titles we Oh, right. Don't even have. I, I hope. I really hope I have All <laughs> Press is Good Press. Wait, what is that? Just. Okay. The... All Press is Good Press. Um. Is it the arm move where you're squeezing? It's gotta be some sort of arm movement, yeah. Um. Because you're, you're squeezing and. But the, why would you word it like that? Why would you say that? 
Why? I pressed you a long time. For pressing. <laughs> Why would you even say that? <laughs> that doesn't. That makes less sense than what they said. <laughs> Don't grant it. I would have not have thought twice if that was actually the title. If it just said "press you long time" in the, in the title. <laughs> okay, so the next one. Yeah. I'm surprised is not our number one because what, it's really fantastic. Okay. It's one of my personal favorites. Uh huh. Number twelve, Warrior of Legend, <laughs> climax. Just because it says climax, Kim. <laughs> Are you not the legendary warrior of Climax? The, oh, this is oh, what it's telling me. Oh, that's what. Oh no. Warrior of Legend, Climax. Oh. <laughs> How'd so, you not read it like I this? I see. So that is the, the, the class of warrior. You are the Climax warrior. <laughs> yes. Of Legend. <laughs> Never mind, that is pretty intense. Uh, but that is only number 12. <laughs> not even on our top 10. <laughs> nope, not even making it. But it's like one of my favorites. That's so bad. Okay, all right, all right. All number right. 11. Oh man, Ban, that is jealous of that one. Hop till you drop. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, young lady. You put that title back where you found it and you go right back upstairs. <laughs> you march right back upstairs and you put that title back where you found it. That is and not if okay. if you were not talking about, it, about a bunny rabbit, you'd get out of here. <laughs> and we are not talking about jump rope. We're not talking about pogo sticks. <laughs> we're talking about the dong. And you put that back. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what was hop till you drop? What What could that have been? Was there a mini game where you jump or something? Hop till you drop. I, I don't know. See, it's been a year. We don't even remember where they came from. Why? I don't know. There's another one also where you like, you squat and then you hop together and then you squat. Oh God. You... Is that it? I don't remember that one, but that sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I did drop or I just left it. I just like, no, I'm not doing that, man. Now we're hitting into the 10. Oh, finally. Top the video is finally starting. <laughs> Number the 10. The top 10 video and it's not our dirtiest. Oh, jeez. Yeah, right, right. Number 10. The bottom of the 10. Back press sensation. <laughs> <laughs> Spending too much time on your back. <laughs> well, I mean, like, this could just be like a simple masseuse thing, which is probably what they're thinking. But even still, oh, that's already sexualized, <laughs> right? And, and then it just gets back worse. The press sensation. Oh, I know which one it is. It's the one where you have your arms behind your head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeezing you gotta it. like put the ring con behind your yeah, head and like squeeze. Press, um, yeah. I, actually, that's in my lineup right now of ones that I'm doing. So I will become the back press sensation, coming soon. Coming soon <laughs> yeah, to theaters a, to a masseuse you. near you. <laughs> Come Number check nine. out my spa. You'll never forget this sensation. Number nine. Number nine. Oh my god, that just. Did you just started, read it for the first no, time? <laughs> no, I was thinking about number 10 again, and I was thinking about FF7R and going to the hand Oh, massage. geez, the okay. hand massage lady. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Watch our roof video. <laughs> um, number nine. Yeah. Office leg scissor. Oh, no. <laughs> you know. so, this had to be on here twice, the leg scissor joke, because this isn't just leg scissors. This is at, at the, the office. office. <laughs> It's now, the I know dirty, that... sex, sexy secretary. Yeah, right, sex. exactly. This is the sexy Sexity secretary. Sex, sex. The, the, <laughs> the sexy secretary scissors. The, whew. Office like scissors. Office, well, I was just, it's a tongue twister. But I don't even know why they put the office part in there. Well, I'm thinking that, like, I don't know why they <laughs> thought that was important. It's like, well, yeah, there's some scissors at an office, but the, people also right, keep scissors just... in their kitchen sometimes. You can keep scissors... In you know, uh, I guess they were just living like, room, but are in an coupons office. or something. I don't know, but it. really, is that really all they thought? <laughs> I guess I don't know, but it's just so weird. And of course, like just with leg scissors, which I'm sorry, that's that is just a sex position. Like that's scissors. the only that's the only time you ever use that. And then office. That's the only time you ever use that. No, <laughs> the, that phrase doesn't ever get used in the English language. Anywhere else like scissor. <laughs> other than Pornhub. And then you have office. If you type that in together, you just got a, a, an answer. You that just is gave why all the teenagers a real place to go. <laughs> oh, did, they, did you not know that was a place? <laughs> oh, well, I... Huh. Sorry. I didn't know... Oh, we should move on then. <laughs> anyway. Ring Fit Adventure is a great game and you should play that video game. And it's, it's rated E for everyone. Number eight. <laughs> 
It is E for everyone. <laughs> Maybe that's what makes this even more scandalous. Yeah, right. Nerdy. <laughs> Number eight, passionate overhedge lunge twister. Overhead? Yeah. You said overhedge. Oh, oh like over like that that video of the animals trying to get into the trash of people's houses. What? O over the over the hedge. Oh, over the hedge. That's head. what you said. Okay. <laughs> so, so Passionate overhead lunge twister. Oh no. <laughs> You know what? You know what? Just the the move itself. It's not one of those like yoga, whatever the the, the movement. No, it, it's, it's not. An it's, an move. Move. it's an ab move. It's an ab move. Whatever the move is, already sounded kind of dirty. But they had to use the adjective passionate. Yeah, it's like called like lunge twist. I think is what it's called. But did it have to be passionate? <laughs> Anything with passion, I can only imagine now someone's doing their workout like, yeah. <laughs> oh. You're so um, passionate about it, that. It doesn't help that w it, it rings. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh. Okay, so Ooh. when you're doing I don't, the, I don't think like, I mentioned that in my video either. You also didn't oh. mention that, like, as a woman, it's horribly uncomfortable when you're doing the leg presses. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's just looking at your crotch. Between your legs going, oh, yeah. Pretty much. Keep it up. Good job. Your sweat is so shiny and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking down at your abs like, mmm. <laughs> ah. That's my favorite one, though. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> this game is funny. It's a funny game. I love Ring. I'm really not making fun of him in the sense that... Oh. Like, like if I hate it. Like, I'm making fun of him in the sense that I freaking love it. Like, I, There would be absolute outrage if, like, Drago or the Ring Fit Trainer or Ring and Fits, whatever you'd want to call them, as a Smash character was, like, the end of the pass and the final character <laughs> of the game. People would be so mad. But here's the thing. Trust me, it would be so funny. It's not like We Fit, which is already funny. The, the, the Ring Fit is its own level they of funny. They were trying to be funny with Ring Fit. Yes, there, there is a lot of comedy in this game. And I don't think I talked about that enough in my video, but I, whatever. Yeah. 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 It's a good game. Ah! Your okay, so eventually so later on in the, in, later on is like free DLC. They gave an update where you could switch Ring's voice to be female. Oh yeah, I never tried that. I think I tried it once and it made me so uncomfortable. I never did it again. I switched it back. Like, I mean, immediately. yeah, I guess we're, I mean, we're wait, it. so hold on. Were people uncomfortable because there was a male voice looking at their crotch and tell her? I mean, I kind of get that, but how about the one where you got to like, make me uncomfortable how, too? How about the one where you have to like turn him around and hold him behind <laughs> oh, you? Oh no, you're right. That's the worst one where because he's basically, his, head is his up face my is butt. up your butt. Like it's <laughs> if you you watch the game and see what's happening, he's he's sticking his face in your butt, and you have to do that to like do this like over like a forward fold, I think. And <laughs> but clearly the Roy the Joy. Uh, Rincon doesn't have a face like, on it, but right, like, yeah. but in the game, like you can see in what's happening. In the game, you see that's what's like, actually happening, and it's so keep it, it up. makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> but it's not that like making it a female voice would make it less uncomfortable. Yeah, we're you just have a female. We're that like gender yeah. is not really no, as important. It it's be gonna be pretty either no way, matter what, so. unless some guys are getting off on that, which I <laughs> maybe in Japan. I don't know. Japan is the only place I can see the weird perversion may may happen. Of insert any weird perversion here, it probably happens in Japan somewhere. <laughs> Like, people attract... I, this is a gross side thing. And by the way, it's our thumbnail of the video, so we have to talk about it's it at one point. It's our thumbnail? Um, what is our thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> oh, in a, in a funny side tangent about the thumbnail while we're in the kind of the middle of this. Um, So, I, I was telling uh, Squad Fam, who's making our thumbnails for this. By the way, thank you so much for helping. That helps a ton. He's making the thumbnails, and I said, oh, we're going to do this one for Ring Fit. By the way, this was supposed to be, like, episode four. So, he made this forever ago. <laughs> and he makes this thumbnail, and he's like, okay, so... um, Because uh, he doesn't know much about Ring Fit. I'm like, okay, well, grab, like, a picture of... Drago. There's a lot of pictures where he's like, you know, lounging. Oh my god! Right. So yeah. we'll get like a picture where he's lounging and like we'll Did Photoshop. Did tweet sexual pictures? Well, yeah, but, I feel so, like. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know, put like some hearts on it and like maybe like a, a rose in his mouth, right? He's laying there, right? And so he does this, and um, he finishes it and he sends it to his, his a couple friends. He's like, hey, do you think this looks good? I'm gonna, you know, use this on this channel, and he sends it to me, and then he finds out all of a sudden, oh no, the picture he grabbed for Drago was not from the game, but apparently an edited version where someone, let's just say, uh, well endowed him, and um, it's just hanging there, and it's bigger than his legs. Thing is, 
This is the first picture that comes up on Google <laughs> if you type in Ring Fit Adventure Drago. So that's what he grabbed, and it was the highest resolution, so he used it, and he didn't see it because it was it is the same color as his rest of his skin, so you don't see it's there. <laughs> but I just didn't like, need to know this. We almost had a thumbnail where there was this giant schlong just <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> Fortunately, he caught it before because it took so long for this video to ever get made. Um, so it popped up. So he, he fixed it. We don't we don't have that version. We have a better version. <laughs> well, better I guess is arbitrary, and you may you may say that it is not, but I say this is better. Anyway, I thought you would like enjoy that. Fact. Well, no, I, I was I never just thinking you. like I think it was like Valentine's Day or something like that. Nintendo. Yeah, they, yeah. On Twitter, did post like. Drago like lounging or something yeah. like that. And I'm like, you're being so weird about this. <laughs> He's so strange. He's like weirdly uh, attracted to one of the other characters too. Allegra? Um, I think. There's this weird thing going on. And like this other weird like story love triangle dynamic where like I think Ring also liked Allegra and they no. were Yeah, I don't know if you were there. Uh, read Allegra's, the dialogue. I'm it's sorry, weird. Ring is staring at my crotch the whole time. Okay, well I <laughs> And I was staring at Abdonis' abs the whole time. If you gotta read the text in this game, it's just funny. Even if you're like in a new town, pull up like the dialogue for the random villagers who, even if they do nothing. They're so stupid. Just talk to them, they're just dumb. Because people <laughs> writing it were clearly like, I'm just writing for an exercise game in a town. Nobody's gonna read this. And they are so stupid, it is awesome. And it's like one of the most, like the best selling games. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. And now it did, it did so good. It's fl It's been flying off the shelves for November Can I say years now? 2019. Yeah, yeah, I've been flying off the shelves for years. It's still kind of hard to get a copy of that game. Number seven. Oh, yeah. We've got seven more. Oh, yeah. Full time hip shaker. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, do we need to go into depth on that? I'm sure it's as is, is innocent as uh, a hula hoop, and that's all it is, right? It's it's just, that's why you're shaking your hips so much, right? The, uh -huh. Those hips don't lie. Yeah, it's, not that disco stick or anything. No, it, mm, <laughs> that, that's, that's a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this attack, what it is, is you hold the ring con over your head and you oh, shake yeah, your I hips Oh yeah, I forgot, back I forgot forth. this move! This move is so funny to watch somebody do. You have to like hold your arms in the air, hold the ring up there, and then you just like bop your hips left to right. But boom, 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 boom. Like <laughs> it's, it's just... a good workout though, because it gives you a lot of um aerobic it has a lot of aerobic. Yeah, stuff to I mean it, it's so. it's like the Shantae. Yeah, you just boom, <laughs> the Shantae. <laughs> it's, it's the funniest thing to watch somebody do. It's so funny. Number six. Yeah. Yoga contortionist. Ooh. I mean, who doesn't want to mm. with a yoga contortionist? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Once again, I see where they were going with that, but ooh. Oh gosh, number five. Yeah. Oh. Top five. Here we go. Miracle legs. <laughs> How was that not number one? <laughs> You gotta imagine these names. You log onto your game, right? And the last time you played it, you chose like some stupid name to put as your 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 title, right? You you boot the game up and it's like Hamster so. Miracle Legs. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, like, I don't usually look at my titles until I turn the game on the second time, or like maybe after I'm done with my workout, I'm like, oh, let's see what titles we got for today. Uh, and you start reading through them, and you're like, which is the dirtiest yeah, now? Right. And I know, well, what, like, which <laughs> dirty one am I feeling today? Because there's so many. And here's the thing, there's a bunch that we're even not even able to fit in here because 20 we were trimming this down. I think there we, are a lot. There of were titles. so many more. Anyway, so let's let's try keep going. Oh, I'm actually laughing so much. I am sweating now. Number four is fantastic. You want to show off your abs, oh, Abdonis? I don't know. It's it's just a <laughs> flabby mess, and it's it's in a lot of pain Abdonis right now. Abdonis is ashamed of you. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet he is. <laughs> He's ashamed of everybody's abs. <laughs> so like, narcissism doesn't even come close to describing this man. It's. <laughs> And he's such like a mama's boy too. Yeah, and I know, right? I forgot about that. Oh god, okay. Okay, number four. Mm -hmm. Joy Rider. Oh no! That's just. Well, where can that be taken? Not, Not sexually. sexually. I know. Oh no! Not only that, it's objectifying the opposite sex of whatever you're I looking hope we at, have, right? I like some of the Australian fans who are watching this, and they were like, no. 
that doesn't mean that at all, or something. Oh, like something so in, in other in cultures, culture, yeah, in yeah. some other culture, it doesn't mean that at all. <laughs> or like in Germany, and they're just like, what? <laughs> I don't see how it can't be, and I don't see how those cultures don't all have the same meaning of joy rider. Joy rider. I actually had a Garfield shirt that said Joy Rider on it. I oh my it, oh, god. Oh, it was Easy Rider. That's what it was. Oh, that's even worse. It was so bad because like Garfield's, that's even worse. Garfield's sitting on the back of like Odie holding his ears or something like that. Oh it says, like, no. Easy Rider. <laughs> oh no. I like never wore it. My parents gave it to me and I was like. <laughs> it's so bad. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, God. I, I kind of want to, like, Google this and try and find a picture of this shirt. That is so horrible. <laughs> Easy. Do I still have it? That's another question. Oh, no. I should have worn do, it I, if I did. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the one and only time you would ever want to wear that shirt is for this moment, <laughs> this video. Okay. Now, number three, we're starting to get to these titles where they're... For the same thing, but there's like different levels. Oh, different levels, right? Oh, and they were all great. I know what this is. So number three. One of them is my current title. Number three, we mm -hmm. have reputable leg razor. Oh my god. And legendary leg razor. Oh yeah, yeah. We combined both as yeah. one tier, so, so we didn't take up both. Tier. Both. So mm -hmm. reputable leg razor. So this. I mean, here, come on, Kim. That girl's got a reputation. <laughs> like you, 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 uh, you got like a good enough looking guy. You know what I'm saying? You walk by, she falls on her back, and up they go. <laughs> that is who she is, and she is proud of who she is. That is her reputation. No, and is she legendary? And <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see, I see this title, and I think of the move, and I'm like, oh, 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 god, yeah, this move it just like. Maybe it's just... It's intense. Yeah, um, Abdonis, uh, this is the new move, where I think of, like, the ab attacks actually hurting me. Yeah, this one, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, I it's feel like lot. the more out of shape and, like, bigger you are, certain moves m are so much harder on you because you have to lift more and do well, more with your abs. Well, I remember at one point we were getting, like, so used to doing ring fit, we wanted to build up more muscle, so we started wearing leg weight, ankle weights, yeah. and wrist weights, and this is one of the attacks that oh my just, God. I had so to take hard. off the ankle Basically, weight. you're laying on your back, much. and with just with your abs, you're lifting your legs up in the air, and you have to hold them there until it's like, pretty much every move in the game is like, hold, release, hold, release, and right. that's how you do reps, right? So, this one, you're, you're just like, oh, like, ah! <laughs> and it's, it's so unbearable. But of course, incredibly sexual. Oh, mama mia, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mama mia. Number two. Number two. This one, we should have reserved to have something to do with the butt. This one should have been muddy hands, just saying. <laughs> just, it's number two. This, it should have been muddy hands. <laughs> anyway. Thigh press performer. Oh my god. <laughs> and thigh press soloist. <laughs> I am the best thigh press soloist there. I think that's what mine is. No, mine is actually, I think mine's full time hip shaker. I think that's what mine I is. Think, on my I think game. it is. I know what mine is, and we've actually not said it, so it has to be tied for number one. But I guess it's one of my favorite. But, but thigh press. Now, see, now see, that's thought? the one where you're sitting down and you're pressing your Yeah, knee. you're right. That's the one we, we thought of and earlier. And Ring is looking at your crotch. Yes, that's where he's just looking at your crotch. M more like your abs and chest area, but still, it's he's not still great. Like, what was the first one of two? Thigh press. Thigh press performer. Performer. And thigh press soloist. I, I got so caught up in soloist being like, it's a playing with myself joke. But the, <laughs> the performer? Performer is so much worse. Wait, what if if the if the last one is soloist performer? Now before we get to number that's one, how you get arrested. Gross. Before we get this to number on one, the subway. I feel like we were laughing so hard oh. about Joyrider. We never explained oh. what Joyrider was and how you even get. Oh my that. god, this game is so messed up. So. Didn't, we didn't even explain how dirty. Joy I forgot Rider about this. Was. So mini let's game. go back to number four real quick. Okay, but but this is not what um. Number one's mini game. No, no, it's we are not to number no number one. And number, number one, one is a different mini game. Video ga is a mini game. It's a different now mini that game. We know it's a mini but game. But Joyrider is also a different mini game. Yes. Um, this one you are, 
It's Ma not okay. I can't say this in a way that's not dirty. You are mounting a robot who is, <laughs> okay, basically a sentient motorcycle. He's <laughs> a sentient motorcycle. You, and, and, and you need to like squeeze him with your legs in order to make him like shoot air out of his bottom region <laughs> and fly for a short period of time to like collect a little you rings and stuff. You are putting ring between your between legs your and legs. crushing him. So you need to sit down on a chair to do this one. You put him between your legs and you just like crush him. But I you, you watch what's happening. The first time I played that mini game and I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry, okay. I felt like we had to go back and explain Here, that. Before, before we even, um, since we were explaining the mini games, before we even tell you the titles of this last one, because I know what it is, let's explain what the mini game is. Because the <laughs> mini game is not inherently dirty at all. And no. it, you, you, but is and it? that's why it maybe it's so funny because you see what you were doing and they give you a title and it is so inappropriate. Like the game is just so, I don't want to say it's innocent because I feel like it's not no. innocent. <laughs> it's still rated E. It's, it's, a, it's an all ages game. Um, but whew, there's there's still like a lot of old cartoons and kids stuff where the adults making it were putting in a lot of dirty stuff that they knew right, that would go over they know. would go over their head right so and this would be the same thing. Oh my gosh! Okay, so this mini game you are basically uh, aiming the ring at the screen <laughs> and squeezing them a bunch of times and kind of aiming in different directions and shooting puffs of air at to crates. blow up huge stacks of crates. Basically, as soon as you like destroy all the crates on screen. A new chunk comes down, you destroy those, and it's it's a time thing. How many can you destroy in um you know it's an X time period? And basically, like it will work the heck out of your arms because you're like crushing it quickly and you're trying to aim at the same time, which the And like you can crush a crate faster depending on how much force you put into pushing. Yeah, the air it's got like it, that so. affects some things in the game. I don't remember if it matters in this mini game so it much, does. but I'm not positive. I know it does in like Drago's attacks with the rocks, right. but I don't know about the box mini game. Right. Uh, so. So number one. Number one. And this is all three titles for that mini game. Every single mini game title is bad, and here they are. Box botherer. Box botherer. Trunk trasher. <laughs> the trunk trasher. And my favorite, the package pulverizer. <laughs> See, my current name is the Trunk Trasher. <laughs> I and, know it is. And the Package Pulverizer. I guess I'm not there yet because I. <laughs> that's so bad. And of course, like, even Box Botherer, you probably got the first one, like, well, I mean, now you're kind of reaching because, sure, some people call female junk a box, right? And I, I never it's understood the whole that. It's Xbox joke. We won't. Oh, I've never heard that, actually. You've never heard the Xbox I've joke? Never, I've never heard oh! that. I was today years old when I heard about the Xbox joke. No, I don't even know where that <laughs> even, where that came into being, what that even means. I'm clearly missing something. But anyway, so the the box botherer. It's the song <laughs> F you, he even says it. Uh, yeah, okay, so. I'm just saying, you've listened to that song. It doesn't mean know. that I know okay. what it doesn't even. Okay. Oh, I get it now. That's what you mean, Xbox. Okay. Um. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Are you sure? Did that really help? No, like in the song. In the song, I in had no. Song, yeah. yeah, I had no idea what you're talking about. Um, the the E-rated version of that song is called "Forget You." Oh yes, you wanna, "Forget You." I'm if you want to uh, look that up and not, <laughs> you know, type that in. Uh, but anyway, um, so, box botherer <laughs> is already bad enough. Package. <laughs> <laughs> the, but, but come on, trunk trasher. No, here, no, hold on, hold on. Think about the mini game. You're breaking boxes. What does trunk trasher have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't know. They're just like, hey man, <laughs> sex is funny. <laughs> and then package pulverizer. <laughs> Once again, it makes sense with the mini game, but oh my god, that's so dirty. So oh god, dirty. it's so bad. Um, but anyway, there's plenty of other bad ones that you could probably run into in Ring Fit Adventure, and if you found some, let us know in the comments. Um, or not, because do we really need to start that comment train? I, I don't know, but either way, there's a ton of these, and this game is funny. And obviously, if you haven't you played it, you should pick this game up. Maybe you can find a cleaner version of what they could have used, but they would have been so yeah. Bland. The title's yeah, bland. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun that them. it doesn't do that. But 
Anyway, uh, we're all out of time this time, so thank you all for tuning into this episode of Hitbox. If you enjoyed the show, you can help us keep it alive by supporting us on Patreon with the links in the show notes and this video's description. For those of you on YouTube, remember to like the video and subscribe for more, and be sure to let us know what you thought of the show and what other topics you would like to hear us cover in the future. And special thanks to all of our amazing Patreon members. Bye-bye! <laughs>